Good evening, and welcome to Valley Christian's third annual Winter Showcase of Arts. Please take the opportunity now to silence your cell phones. Please no flash photography while the performers are on stage so as not to distract them. Also, in case of emergency, the exit signs are marked. My name is Mary. Huh? And I am Matthias. <laughs> Tonight's event is a celebration of our community and of the arts. Tonight, you will be able to enjoy presentations of both visual and performing arts by students who have prepared works on their own, in groups, and in classes. You will see elementary, middle, and high school students. We will enjoy works by one of our families, by an alumni, and by our church's worship pastor. Before we begin, let's bow our heads with me as we pray for the evening. Dear Lord, thank you for this wonderful time we have to gather together. Thank you for the gifts and talents that you've given all these wonderful performers. And please help this um, performance to go smoothly. In your name, amen. amen. Now, to get us started, you may have been wondering what this exotic instrument um, on stage is. It is a Chinese instrument called the guzheng. In a moment, we will invite sophomore Lucy Lee to the stage to share with us a piece called in English, The Battle with the Typhoon. Lucy?
Lucy. That was truly incredible. Our next street will be a performance by a Valley Christian family. If you are a fan of the performing arts on campus, you remember Olivia Brown from many roles, including Miss Hannigan in Annie. You also know Sophia Brown from her performance as Annie in Annie. And you will see her soon as Cinderella in our production of Cinderella, <coughs> an original retelling. They are joined tonight by the rest of their talented family, their parents, Trish and Ian, and they will be performing Fall on Me from the movie The Nutcracker and The Four Rums. Please welcome the Brown family. Just like it all.
Thank you, Browns family. Wasn't that wonderful? Yeah. Tonight, we are going to be treated to a lot of dance. First, we have a hat dance by the middle school dance class. This choreography was collaboratively created by the dancers and their teacher, Mrs. Leah McCurry. The class will be back later in the show for a series of Disney-inspired dances. Please welcome Grace Chestnut, Rachel Haslam, Alaya Heisey, Izzy Novel, Elisa Kim, Cassandra Lang, Ruby Park, Kathy Wu, and Alice Chang. We also want to acknowledge Ruthie Gal, who's a part of the class, but is injured, so she is helping out behind the scenes. Thank you and enjoy.
visual artists. In this first segment of visual presentations, we will see works by students from Mrs. Alicia Weber's Art Foundations class. Kathy Ann, Peyton Bailey, Mariah Dodson, Haley Hazem, Haslam, Jason Kahn, Ava Nguyen, Michael Nguyen, Jesse Simonson. Please enjoy. Seniors Adriana Temprano and Aaron Valsi. I'm on the mend, like wearing a neck brace, like. 
like I'm sleeping in my own place Like I'm pulling all the stitches out of my own face I'm on the mend Like I'm icing a new spring Like I'm walking on a new king Like it's been a couple days since I slipped and said something sort of like your name I know I'll be alright But not tonight I'll be lying awake, counting all the mistakes I've made We play in fights, and I will be alright But I'm not tonight I'm on the men, but I lost a friend I lost my mind, and nobody believes me Say I know that he don't leave me Cause he made a little too much money to be 20 instead will be an eighth grader who has become a very recognizable presence in our performing arts program. Eli Heisey, who was also part of the middle school dance class, will be singing On My Own from Les Miserables. Elia, take it away.
presenter. <laughs> I will be reading a few poems that were written by my very talented sister, Mary Bergman. A story on my skin authored by Mary M. Brueggemann. Through fire have been marred, mangled features, lacy scars, lost pieces sewn around, unforgettable for stares. Two little mirrors carried by each, eager to tell what beauty wears. Beauty is outside, a story should any read of triumph in times of greatest need. Warriors solely receive the victory, a pity for those who sit prettily without life upon their skin. Ember, authored by Mary M. Bruggeman. No one chooses what they remember when past and present converge. What moment is still left like a last glowing ember? Slowly sparks of life disappear, those moments of anger Love, fear, have gone away, no longer held dear. Life is so long, life is so short. How much longer would it be if we had these moments to resort? Make each moment count, they say, but how can you count the moments when they come to no amount? Why strive to make moments matter when no one will remember them matter? Just in case they are one of the lucky ones, chosen randomly among tongues, or perhaps of some need to be kept, to guide you along the journey and accept what you need. Slowly sparks of life disappear. Those moments of anger, love, fear have gone away, no longer held dear. Life is so long, life is so short. How much longer would it be if we had these moments to resort? Make each moment count, they say, but how can you count the moments when they come to no amount? Why strive to make moments matter when no one will remember them later? Just in case they are one of the lucky ones, chosen randomly among tongues, or perhaps because of some need to be kept, to guide you along the journey and accept what you need. In either case, it seems to be that memories are not for glee, but to bring one's life into perspective and see, in the grand scheme, who is he? Glances, authored by Mary M. Bruggeman. Bloodthirsty hounds chase another away eventually. Birth is a curse, neediness beastly, denying anything that make what that makes one the same, rotting from lack of dignity, lack of love. Perhaps blindness is bliss, the blindness of others. They and you choose which characteristics to be blind to, and which to magnify for all to see. Yours happen to be more hidden, no less repulsive, 
no less feared. Uncloak your distortion, your blemishes. Are you any more than those imperfections? After all, were not you the one who rejected your brother, murdered him with your words, glances, hate, actions? Who justifies this mistreatment, this list for acceptance that can never be fulfilled? Dangle the reward in another's face, then rip it away, never giving mercy. Humanity is not a meadow in the mind, but one of hills, mountains, and valleys. Why is this? Who created love, beauty, oneself? Well then, the same made everyone else. Let humility be greater than the mountain you have placed yourself on. For if it is not, you will be found out and placed lower than those you have scorned. How unjust to think that love should be earned. If then, why do mothers care for children? How could the human race ever continue? performance, we have a real treat. One of the most talented students on our campus is Davina Ko. Tonight she will be singing You're the Reason by Callum Scott while accompanying herself on the piano.
performing their student-created choreographies to three popular Disney songs. Shout out to Elisa, who stepped in for another student who could not join us for the Let It Go choreography and learned all the moves in just two weeks. Please enjoy. Yeah. 
looks like my pack doesn't have charge. <laughs> Would you guys give a round of a hand, a round of applause to Jarrell over here? <laughs> He's gonna help me out. You know, sometimes things like this happen, and it just shows that uh, there's grace. There's <laughs> grace that we all need in moments of life, right? Sometimes things don't go as planned. But uh, the cool thing is that the Lord steps in. He always gives us what we need when we need it. And His grace covers us. And just like this song, He gives us peace. So, we're going to try one last thing. My soul. 
because both Mary and Matthias are in this next performance. Um, we will be treated to a dance by members of our performing arts family um, to, from now on, uh, from The Greatest Showman. I gotta tell you something I love about our performing arts community here. The one thing that all of these performers have in common is they were all in Alice in Wonderland this fall, and before we got to performances, they were already planning, what are we going to do for the showcase? Largely because they just didn't want to stop dancing together. And it's a wonderful thing, and one of the really wonderful things that makes this happen is we have had Erin Valsey to choreograph for us. This is her piece. So, um, and after this piece, I'm going to come back out. Um, but please welcome Sophia Brown, Mary Brueggemann, Matthias Brueggemann, Alaya Hazy, Bethany Hooper, Camden Norris, Kat Taylor, Erin Valsey, Anika Villanueva, and Praise Wong. <laughs>
to follow that, because <laughs> that's hard. Um, one, of the, uh, one of the characters, if, if you're an actor or if you're sort of somebody who wants to be an actor, you have favorite characters. One of mine is Shylock from A Merchant of Venice. Um, I'm going to perform a short monologue for you. Uh, just to set it up, if you're not familiar with the story, Shylock is a Jew, he is a money lender in uh, Genoa, Italy, and he has lent money to a man named Antonio. Antonio goes, um, he, he is penalty, because when you sign a contract for a loan at that time, there's a penalty. The penalty that they created for this loan was a pound of flesh which is a little unreasonable, but that's Shylock. His daughter, in the middle of the play, actually elopes with Antonio, and in the midst of this, as Antonio doesn't pay the loan back, Shylock encounters two men who are questioning whether he actually intends that he is going to take this kind of flesh. And this is his response. He hath disgraced me and hindered me half a million, laughed at my losses, mocked at my gains, scorned my nations, thwarted my bargains, cooled my friends, heated my enemies, and what's his reason? I am a Jew. Hath not a Jew eyes? Hath not a Jew hands, organs, dimensions, senses, affections, passions? Fed with the same food, hurt with the same weapons, subject to the same needs, warmed and cooled by the same winter and summer as a Christian is? If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, shall we not revenge? If we are like you in the rest, we will resemble you in that. If a Jew wrong a Christian, what is his humility? Revenge. If a Christian wrong a Jew, what should his sufferings be? By Christian example. <clears throat> the villainy you teach me, I will execute, and it shall go hard. But I will better the instruction. <laughs> to our youngest performers, under the direction of Mrs. Jo Lampkin, our wonderful elementary music teacher. We have a small ensemble who will perform two songs, 
A Million Dreams from The Greatest Showman, and I Can Only Imagine by Marcy Me. Please welcome Mina Benjamin, Kaylee Bolton, Braylon Bush, Kaden Inamdar, Ella Jenkins, Amelie Menner, Christina Steenman, and Grace Yale.
additional visual art, uh, art uh, work by current and former students. Please enjoy these works from seniors Kathy Ann, Andy Wang, and Henry Yu. 
along with photos from Valley alum, recent Cal Baptist graduate, and gifted photographer Alyssa Reimer. And for your information, she's also available for personal photo shoots. <laughs> between Praise Wong and Aaron Valsey, both of whom danced in From Now On earlier this evening. Aaron, who choreographed that piece and who also choreographed each of our last three musicals on campus, was also featured dancing earlier this evening with Adriana. Praise for fans of our performing arts community was last seen on stage as Alice in Alice in Wonderland, an amazing production for which she also served as musical director. Please welcome Praise Wong and Aaron Rousey performing a medley of Tonight from Hamilton and Found from Dear Evan Hansen.
you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall? Thank you, Aaron and Praise. Wasn't that beautiful? So before we end our evening, we would like to share a few thank yous. First, let's have a huge round of applause for all of our performers tonight. And for our backstage crew, Candace Chen and Ira Dolier. media team, Alan Haar and Jura Martin. And finally, our producer and lighting designer, Saul Drevich. Yes, Mr. Drevich did perform, and he did amazing. <laughs> so, our final act tonight is a solo dance by Adriana Temprano, who you saw dancing earlier this evening. Adriana is an amazing dancer and choreographer, and we are so excited that she has been part of our Winter Showcase again this year. Adriana.
play Cinderella, an original retelling on February 7th and 8th. Expect you all to be there. And our high school play, uh, Chaos at the Theater on March 5th, 6th, and 7th. Which we will both be in it. We, we will, so please be there and watch us be amazing. And finally, <laughs> admission for tonight's performance was intentionally free to encourage you to just come and enjoy. But we do encourage you to share a donation with any size to support our performing arts program. And with that, house lights up and, and good, good night. night.